January 1, 1897, the Philippines experienced its first movie with its four films, Un Home Al Chapeo, or The Man with the Hat, Unisin di Danse Japones, or Seen from a Japanese Dance, Les Boxers, or The Boxers, and La Place de la Opera, or The Place of La Opera. The showing of these films was done in Salon de Pertera on Escolta Street. This film were shown using a Gaumont Chrono Photograph projector. This momentous event was envisioned by the Spaniard, only remembered by the name of Pertiera. The first movie shot in the country happened in 1898 by Antonio Ramos using a Lumiere cinematograph imported from Paris. Ramon shot the following films, Panorama de Manila, or The Manila Landscape, Fiesta de Quiapo, or The Quiapo Fiesta, Puente de España, or The Bridge of Spain, and Exenias Calejeras, or Street Scenes. Over the years, since the arrival of cinema in the country, Filipino artists have thrived and triumphed in the fast-paced work of cinema, without the brilliance and talents of the people behind the art. Filmmaking will not be made possible. This is why the country continues to honor the serving artists in the field of cinema. Here are the national artists in the film category. Fernando Po Jr. started in movies such as Ang Pagbabalik ng Panday and Durugin si Totoy Bato. Fernando Po Jr., also known as the King or FPJ, has been given the title the King of Philippine Movies. He is the one of the most admired Filipino film actors of all time. He is famous for his role as Flavio in Mythica and Mythical Ang Panday series. He also starred in other famous films such as Apollo Robles in 1961, Batang Manila, Manila Boy in 1962, Mga Alabok sa Lupa, Dust in Land in 1967, Ako Ang Katarungan, I Am Justice in 1974, Tatak ng Alipin, Mark of the Slave in 1975. Totoy Bato in 1977, Asidilio in 1971, and Partida or Party in 1985. FPJ is not only an exceptional actor, he is also a film producer and politi politician as well. In 2004, he ran an unsuccessful bid for the presidential election. Subsequently, his political rival, former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, declared him a national artist for his film in 2006. As early as 1939, Lamberto V. Avoriano was the first to use the motion picture camera to establish point of view. A move that revolutionized the techniques of film narration Avellana who at 20 portrayed Joan of Arc in time for Athenae's Diamond Chamley, initially set out to establish a Filipino theater. Together with Daisy Hunteveros, star of many UB plays and his future wife, it was after seeing such plays that Carlos P. Romolo, then president of the Philippine film, encouraged him to try his hand in directing films. In his first film, Sakai, Avellana demonstrated a kind of visual rhythm that established a new filmic language. Despite considerable budgetary limitations that hampered the post-war Filipino film industry, Avellana films such as Anak Paleta and Bajo attained international acclaim. In 1976, Avellana was named by President Ferdinand Marcos as the first national artist of the Philippines for film. Avellana is also the first filmmaker to have his film Candarilong Pilak shown at the Cannes International Film Festival. Among the films he directed for worldwide release were Sergeant Hassan 1967, Destination Vietnam 1969, and The Evil Weren 1970.
awarded the National Artist for Film in 2001, Ismael Bernal is considered to be one of the pioneers of the Philippine cinema. In 1982, Bernal directed the critically acclaimed Himala, starring Nora Honor, the country's most popular celebrity at that time. Many critics considered Himala as one of the greatest Filipino films of all the time because of its provocative and courageous depictions that has served as social cementaries and bold reflections on the existing realities of the struggle of the Filipino. Bernal's contribution to Philippine cinema is both liberating and aesthetic as he pushes the artistry. According to National Commission for Culture and Arts, or NCCA, polishing its visuals or innovating in the medium, he manages to send his messages across to fight the censor, free the artist, give justice to the oppressed, and enlighten as well as entertain the audience. Some of his famous works include the films Dalawang Pugad, Isang Ibon, Two Nest, One Bird in 1977. Lagi na lamang ba akong babae? Will I always be just a woman? In 1978. Isang gabi sa'yo, isang gabi sa'kin. A Night With You, A Night With Me in 1978. Ikaw ay akin, Your Mind in 1979. Minor de Edad, Underage in 1979. Lino Broca is the most influential filmmaker behind Manila sa mga kuko ng liwanag at tinimbang ka ngunit kulang. The contribution of Lino Broca to Philippine cinema is unparalleled with 66 films that bred life and hope for marginalized sectors of society. According to NCCA, awarded the National Artist for Cinema in 1997, Lino Broca has harvested countless awards and recognitions here and abroad for his films that are a bounty of stunning images, memorable conversations that speak volumes and love, betrayal and redemption, pestilence and plenty all pointing towards the recovery and discovery of our nation. In 1975, he directed the movie Manila sa mga kuko ng liwanag. The said film is considered as one of the classic of Filipino cinema. His other films include Wanted, Perfect Mother 1970, Tinimbang Ka Ngunit Kulang 1974, Isyang 1976, Jaguar 1979, Bona 1980, Macho Dancer 1988, Ora Pro Nobis Fight for US 1989, and Gumapang Ka Sa Lusak 1990.